Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So the new way to sell via Google Ads. Now Google Ads is a constantly changing platform. It is not only getting changes done daily regarding the policies and the way that you can actually sell on it itself to the amount of competition, dropshippers and so forth that are entering the platform. Because of this, things are literally changing by the minute. And just earlier this year of 2021, Google actually released a special program for a lot of e-commerce store owners, which now actually lets you completely change the way that you use Google ads and sell on Google ads. Because this platform, if you use the right way, can literally boost your Shopify store from a few sales here and there to literally millions of dollars every single month so this is one video you're gonna want to watch until the end but without wasting any more time let's find out exactly what this new way is and how you can use it on your store to make a lot of money the first thing you'll have to do in order to find any type of success with this video or this new technique is to destroy that like button until it turns blue it's gonna take just two quick seconds gonna help me out a lot and help me put out more videos for you just like these ones okay hopefully i've done that but the new way to sell on google ads and this program is called the buy on google program it is available via the merchant center now hold your horses before you try to use any of the things i'm about to mention in this video you need to make sure that your merchant center account your google ads account is first approved for your drop shipping store now this is literally one of the biggest setbacks and a lot of biggest issues a lot of people that are wanting to drop ship via google are currently facing but Rest assured, it is completely possible to still dropship in 2021 via Google Ads. And I've had my own students get their account approved recently, including myself with Google Ads in these recent past few months. If you're wanting more help on that, check out the video I made on Google Merchant Center suspensions. But this buy on Google program is directly available via the Merchant Center. We're going to go ahead and go on over to one of my Merchant Center accounts to check out exactly what this program is and how you can become a part of it. So in order to access this program in the first place, what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to the growth section of your merchant center from there go ahead and click manage programs because this program should be available within the manage Programs section and note that this is only available within the us so if we go ahead and go to the right it is the third one from the left and it is called the buy on google program as you can see it is currently available in the us only but this program is an amazing program it is letting you kind of change the way you stand out amongst other drop shippers and really put your listing up at the top now exactly what is this program and what is so special about it so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to a sample search done on google to show you guys exactly what this program is so right now i've gone ahead and searched up the keyword snowshoes 22 inch because i found the program directly through this search and directly through the store which i'm about to show you guys so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check out the store so when i did my search i went ahead and scrolled down to find this special icon on the store now this was something that caught my eye simply because if you look at all of the other stores they don't really have that icon but this store did have that icon and that really intrigued me because i had never seen this before so what i did is i went ahead and clicked on this listing and i clicked on the name of the listing so that i could be taken to their product page but to my surprise, I was taken to this page and this does not look like any normal product page that you would find for an e-commerce website. And that is simply because this store has registered under the buy on Google program. When you register under that, you get to directly sell on Google. So as we can see, this is itself the product page for the store. You will not be taken to the actual page that this store has or its actual website simply because this is where you can personally check out. As you guys can see, we see the pricing on the right side. We see when it should be delivered and we see two buttons, add to cart and buy it now. So what this buy on Google program does is that it simply reduces the number of pages that your customers have to go on and makes all of the transactional pages right on the Google's platform itself. So let's go back on the Google Doc to go over exactly how this can work and how you can start using it. So how does this work exactly? As I already just showed you guys, you can directly check out on Google. No more having to go on a special product page. No more having to get the customer on your website at all. Because now, once they click on the product itself, they can directly check out on Google. And this leads to a lot of different benefits. Number one thing is that, first of all, it does not take any commission. So 
you don't have to waste any extra money using the buy on Google program because this program does not take any commission per order. Literally, all of the money that your customer pays you for the product goes inside your pocket, which you then can use for ads, for cost of goods, and so forth. But the real benefit is that this increases the overall trust your customer has for your website. Now, let's just think about this for a little bit. If a customer no longer has to go on any random website that looks like a dropshipping store or a website that has random trust badges, random timers all over it, what is this gonna do to the person that is wanting to buy the product? It is obviously going to increase the overall trust that they have for your website and for the product itself because now this product is directly sold on Google and Google is something that basically everybody trusts. Plus, there's some cool things which this product page has on Google. First of all, there's a special Google guarantee button and icon right here, which of course adds a lot of trust. And if you just hover over it, you can see that it says, if anything goes wrong with your order, Google will help make it right. This alone has a big impact on the customer psychology. They're 10 times more likely to trust you. But if you scroll down just a little bit, we can see that Google provides the customer a lot of upsells right on the product page itself, and all of them have real reviews. So what this kind of leads the customer to believe is that this is a very trustworthy product page. They don't really have to think twice about it before purchasing something. Plus, this is again directly run by Google. And on the top left, you can see that this says Google Shopping. And if we click on the icon, we can directly click different buttons on this page. So all this is doing is that it is significantly increasing the amount of trust your customers will have for you. But in addition, it reduces the funnel overall drop-off rate. Now, what is exactly a drop-off rate? The drop-off rate is what happens when a person goes onto your website, but then drops off. Some of those customers that don't drop off may go onto the cart page, but then drop off there. And then again, some that don't drop off there may go onto the checkout page, but then drop off there. So all of these three different pages have different leaks within them. And what happens is that slowly and steadily, a large portion of your audience that ends up on the website will have dropped off. That is why e-commerce websites have very, very low conversion rates, up to 2%, even 3% in total. So in order to kind of increase that, you want to use this buy on Google program because this is going to reduce the overall funnel drop off rate simply because they're number one, there's more trust. But number two, you don't really have to go through a bunch of different pages because as we saw, if you go ahead and click add to cart, we can directly add the product to cart on Google and then go to the checkout directly. Once you do that, then you can enter your information directly on Google on a one page checkout. You don't have to go through different pages just to reach the checkout. You don't have to do all sorts of things related to that. So as you can see, this heavily reduces the amount of pages a customer has to go through and this reduces their overall headaches, which then increases the conversion rate for you. So this is another benefit to that because again, lower number of pages to go through in order to purchase the product. And finally, it offers a very easy integration with Shopify directly. You don't have to do anything really crazy to set this up with your store. And plus a lot of the payment gateways, including Shopify payments is accepted on the buy on Google program. So you can use that as well in order to get everything set up and running with this program. But of course, not everything is sunshine with the buy on Google program. There are obviously a few downsides to this. So let's talk about the downsides before we, I really talk about whether you should be using this or not. So the first downside is that there's no real brand authority with this program. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? Well, if we go back to the product page, we can see that everything here is basically screaming Google out to you. It is not screaming the brand, which is Costway here. It is not screaming this other website, which sells this product, which is Borac USA. All it is screaming is Google and Google shopping platform. What this means is that the brand getting sold here to the customers is Google. You are not building your own brand. You're basically selling Google's brand in this process. So if your goal is long term, if you're really selling something that you want people to go on your website and keep on getting repeat customers, this may not be the best program for you. But of course, everything is worth a try. So I recommend that you try this out before making any decision. But in my opinion, you can't really build much brand authority using this program. Second downside to this is more chances of getting your Google ads account suspended. Why? Simply because you are now selling direct on Google's platform. If a customer has a bad experience, they're gonna directly tell Google and it's gonna become easier for them to leave feedback with Google. If you start accumulating all of this negative feedback through this platform, Google is going to come down hard on your ad account and it is just gonna increase the chances of you getting your ad account suspended. So what does this mean? Does this mean that you just run away from this program? 
program because you are drop shipping and just not use it. No, what that means is that you're going to have to invest more into better quality customer service into maybe shipping products via eBay sellers or Amazon sellers in order to provide a faster shipping options or even using other options which I mentioned in my videos. So all this means that you're gonna have to up your game when it comes to providing customers with quality products, making sure it gets sent on time and so forth. Because again, Google expects better customer service provided to the customers if you plan to use this program. But in addition, the third thing is, there's a slightly increased competition for certain products. Now this is directly if you're selling branded products, not for any other products, which you can't really compare prices with like a lot of AliExpress products. So this can be done directly with the compare buying options setting that is at the very bottom so if we look right here we can see that it is this one right here compare buying options of course with this this is the only option available for this product as i already mentioned not every product you're going to be able to compare the prices with so this is not really a big deal but if you do plan to sell something branded then other options may appear here and at that point it may just become a price war between you and the other competitors so that is kind of a downside to this depending on which products you sell the last thing is lower control as i already mentioned earlier with this there is no real brand authority to this because basically you are selling google's brand so that means you have lower control over the overall funnel you can't really optimize the checkout pages you can't add your own upsells to the cart page and you can't really do many changes on the product page itself because that product page is directly handled by google so if you're the kind of person which kind of believes in doing a lot of tests on the product page on the cart page have adding upsells downsells and so forth this may really not be the way to go for you because then you're leaving a lot of money on the table or this could be the way to go for you because even though you're not really able to upsell and downsell your own products because there's such an increase in the conversion rate due to the increased customer trust you may end up getting as much money if not more in the end through this program so these four things really are a big downside to using the buy on google program but in my opinion this is definitely worth a try if you have a merchant center that is approved and running and if you have never really tried anything else besides selling on your e-commerce store because who knows this might be the next thing which brings your conversion rates through the roof and increases your sales tenfold but if you're wanting more consulting or more mentoring on google ads i do offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring you can reach out to me directly on instagram my instagram is at dedicated young so just send me a message so we can get you set up with one-on-one -on -one google ads mentoring so you can up your game this year with the google ads but if you find any type of value in this video smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time